Hi friends, I'm Reverend Dave, I'm the pastor here at the United Methodist Church at Evseekin. I'm here with you for another midweek Lenten message. This scripture comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, beginning with verse 31. Therefore, do not worry, saying, what will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who seek all these things. And indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. This message, friends, is about priorities. It's about what should be a priority in our lives versus what we make a priority in our lives. So as we give things up for Lent, maybe the things that we give up should be the things that distract us from God, the things that we spend our time and money and energy and resources on that don't focus on the kingdom of God and don't bring the good news, love, joy, and hope to God's people. What does that look like? Well, today is March 14th. Are there any math teachers out there? Maybe some of you students know what March 14th is. My sister is a math teacher, and March 14th to her every year is Pi Day. P-I. Pi is 3.14 and a bunch of numbers, right? 3, 1, 4. March 14th. That got me thinking about Pi. I'm sorry for any of you who might have given up Pi for Lent. I hope this doesn't hurt you too much. But it brought me back to our very first youth group meeting coming out of COVID, my first youth group meeting here as the pastor of this church. The very first thing that we did was we had a pizza party with some pizza pies. And then after we enjoyed our pizza, we came over here where I put this on the chalkboard. I said, this is our pizza pie. And every slice in our pizza pie represents one priority that we will have as a youth group. And so we listed our ingredients, the things that we want in our pizza pie. Things like scripture, things like fellowship, things like fun, movies, things like going away to midwinter advance and uh, ignite. And once we had all of our ingredients together, the youth got to decide how many slices each one of them would take up. It was a lesson in priorities and they got to decide what their priorities were. I'm happy to say that they decided that two slices should go to studying the Bible. Friends, can you do this in your life this Lenten season? Can you take a look at your ingredients of your pizza pie, your priorities in your life, and put them here to see if you are spending the time that you should on the things of God and maybe leaving aside the things that distract. That's up for you to decide, friends. It's a good exercise. I invite you into this holy exercise for the season of Lent. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.